Hello folks, it's me again. So what you're looking at on the screen right now, provided we are recording, and I believe we are, is um, <laughs> my attempt at trying to take somebody else's code and alter it for my purposes. And as you can see, I am somewhat struggling a little bit with it. So. I'm asking anybody out there who is a coder to have a look at this for me please and you can see uh, I've got like some bits in but I, I must admit truthfully I don't understand it uh, so what I've done here is I've put a description of the process that I want to achieve in this section here and uh, please feel free to alter any of this stuff um, if you feel like you want to spend a little bit of your time helping me out. So ultimately everything on this system is going to be controlled via solenoids. So looking at this here we have the three fill sensors along the bottom uh, ignore the push buttons, they're just to simulate the beer. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. A lot of people are coming up with some new ideas. I'm definitely going to use this idea where we send voltage down the fill tube or vice versa and then a stainless steel wire which is adjustable on the fill tube but isolated of course is moved up and down and as soon as it senses beer it will pull down a voltage from 5 volts to ground thus indicating to the Arduino that the pin has gone from high to low and when that happens I'm hoping that will close off the liquid valve which is related to that fill sensor foam isn't going to be as much of an issue as people think because I'll be can conditioning so the beer will be going into the cans relatively flat not much co2 and uh, we're going to be pumping it in or using head pressure i don't want to use any flow meters or anything like that because if we've got a heavily hopped beer there's a chance that the hops will get stuck inside the flow meters and give us a false read so that's out the window i don't want to use any scales to measure the amount of beer that's gone in there because it's much more in terms of programming and equipment as opposed to just a couple of wires like this so we can get this to work between us as a community I'm pretty sure we can all the valves are going to be 12 volt solenoids so you don't have to worry about the outputs we're going to run them through obviously a MOSFET and everything else and they'll have their own power so we're not um, drawing any high current from the uh, Arduino board and if needs be as well we could add some another layer in there maybe I don't know just to boost the signal to uh, well this should work anyway with the MOSFETs uh, so yeah I digress so yeah I think if somebody can help me out with the code here we just need to have that process going right so uh, I've written it down in the Arduino sketch what I want to try and see happen so if somebody can kind of help me out with this that would be absolutely ideal uh, what I want to do is link um, a couple of pages here we go this is going to be a txt file that's hosted on my website which the links in the description if you would like to download this and play with it I can't upload an INO file but I think you can take this and uh, just change the three letters at the end to dot INO and you've got yourself an Arduino file and then also there's this image here as well if you want to download that and have a look at it I don't have a plan for what the machine is going to look like but yes I've read everybody's messages and I have watched lots and lots of these videos on YouTube and the chap who's built a couple of these automated machines already 
is uh, yeah, right up my street. I've watched his stuff and I've got a lot of hints and tips off of him, which is why I want to go down these routes. The gas rams, we're going to throttle them on the outlet and so they won't be fast and hard and shake about. Linear actuators aren't going to be quick enough for this. We want to achieve around 360 cans per hour. And the electrics, you know, including the coding, and the boards, the UNOs and the wires, I think we'll get all this done for less than a couple of hundred quid. And then we'll get into the fab shop if we can get all this coding working, folks. We'll go down to the brewery and we'll get in the fab shop and we'll actually build all of the hardware in the fabrication shop out of stainless steel and everything else. So there's a real good project to be had here. Yes, I could buy one. But then I wouldn't have any videos to put on YouTube, would I? It'd just be me filling cans. And you know you want to see me do this project from start to finish. So if somebody out there is a coding wizard, and uh, there's already a couple of people who've stepped up to the plate, I must add, and I thank you very much, gentlemen. Um, and it's not a race, you know. I'm sure everybody's input is going to make this little bit of kit absolutely fantastic. And you never know. We might make it all open source and uh, people might be ringing me up saying, can you build me, uh, can you weld me a few components together? I've already built the control box to go in it. And you never know, we might do something like that in the future. But yeah, it's all about sharing, sharing is caring. Anyway, I'll leave you with a shot of the Arduino Uno and its associated components. This is what we plan to get up and running. What a project to come out the other side of this pandemic. It would be brilliant if we can start canning beer and shipping it around the world. And of course it won't be possible without your help. So I'd like to thank you in advance. My appreciation valve is fully open. Right then guys, I'll see you on the next one. Um, if you want to send me anything, chris at harrisonsbrewery.com is the email to do it at. Um, and in particular, I'd like some finished code, please. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.